in .NET 9, TimeSpan receives a tiny but important update. In this video, we're going to look at that update, why it's important, and how you should be updating your code to utilize this new feature or potentially bug fix, depending on how you look at it. Now, for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you need a quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created this 10 minute training series. So let's jump right into Visual Studio. This is the latest version of Visual Studio 2022 with a console app already created. It is a .NET 9 console app. So what we're gonna do is create a quick time span. And if you don't know, a time span is just the time between two points. So saying, hey, this is two hours, this is five hours or whatever. And we're gonna say that we're gonna call it demo. We're gonna say time span from seconds. This is the thing that's been updated. Now, this is the old way of doing what we're gonna do right now, which is to use the double value. Notice there's an overload now. We're gonna use that soon, that's the new update. But originally you just had this one way of doing it, which is to put a double in here. And this double represents the number of seconds and milliseconds. So we're gonna put a number in here, 101.832. This is a very specific number because not all numbers will show you this issue. But what you're expecting here is that this time span will have 101 seconds in it and 832 milliseconds. That's the goal. And if we say console right line, and just type out demo and run this, you would hope to see that 101 seconds, actually one minute, 41 seconds. And there's a problem. 831,9999 not 832 milliseconds. So you've got one minute because 100 is over one minute. So therefore it says minutes, seconds. So we've got hours, no hours, one minute, 41 seconds. That's 101 that works. But then 831,9999 instead of 832. So it looks like Microsoft has a bug in their code, right? Well, no, if you remember what this is, it's a double. And remember, doubles have a precision, I don't want to call it issue, but they're not quite as precise, which is why we don't use doubles for things like money, because a double it does not have the precision necessary to be able to be precise enough for a monetary issue or for astronomical units. So we don't use double for those things. But this is a problem for us because certain times, now if I put a different number in here, if I put uh, 987 and run this, you'll see that it says 141.987 and then four zeros after it. So it was perfectly precise, but that one kind of break point where we have 832 causes a problem. It's not just this one number, but it's certain numbers. It's not every number. So that might not be a problem for you. It might be that um, one thousandth of a millisecond, which, you know, it's even further than that, but one tiny little piece of a millisecond isn't going to be a big deal. It's not a deal killer, but you may have code that does depend on precision when it comes to time spans. And this could be a problem. So if you're using the, and this is only if you're putting data in using the from seconds method. So if you put in data with a from seconds method and you're using a double right now, you might have a potential precision issue if you're expecting very, very precise numbers. There is a fix now with .NET 9 or a new feature, depending on how you look at it. And that is an overload. So let's just comment this out and we'll put in the same thing again, time span, demo, or say new, yeah, say demo equals time span from seconds. But this time, instead of double, what we're going to do is come down to the overload, which is seconds. Notice it's a long, which is an integer type. Okay, it's a whole number. Or you can do the next one, which is long seconds, long milliseconds, and even long microseconds if you want. So we're just going to put in seconds and milliseconds. So 101, comma, and then we're going to say 832, the same number that was causing problems earlier. And let's run this again. And we get one minute, 41 seconds, 832 milliseconds. We get the precision that we're looking for. 
So that's kind of the big update or change to time span. And depending on how you look at it, it's either a new feature, which is adding more precision where people might need precision or even just, I have seconds and milliseconds separate, let's just pass them in separately. Or it's fixing a bug if you're expecting that precision and you're like, hey, I needed that precision, I wasn't getting it. Now you can with this new overload for the from seconds method. Now I wanna point this out because it's important to note, okay? This is a tiny little feature. It's gonna affect 0.1% of you probably in any meaningful way. But I wanna point out that this technically is a bit of a breaking change. And so when you hear about the fact that every version of .NET comes with breaking changes, this is what they're talking about. You can still do this. Your code will not change. What has to happen, I believe it's, it requires a recompile of your code. That's it. In order to get past this quote unquote breaking change. And your code that looks like this highlighted code will still work. So when you think about, you know, improvements to .NET 9, improvements to any version of .NET, these are the kind of things that are done that say, well, we're going to try to not break your code. They didn't say do away with double. They just said, we're going to add this new, more precise method for overload method for when you need that precision. So your code doesn't change at all. But if you are running into this problem or realize all of a sudden, hey, that wonky issue we get every once in a while, maybe that's a time span from seconds issue. And if so, you can just upgrade your method to do this instead with a separate seconds and milliseconds and you're good to go you have that precision these are the kind of things that new versions of dotnet bring to the table it's not just about new features it's about improving the language over time just like we do with our code dotnet is doing their code to make things better for us while hopefully at the same time not breaking too much in this case this technically a breaking change but I wouldn't call it a breaking change. This just means recompile your code, you're good to go. So um, that is the new thing for time span, the from seconds method that has been fixed. Now I said specifically the from seconds method, there are other from methods. So if we were to say time span uh, demo two equals time span dot from, notice there is milliseconds, which does take a double. And there's also microseconds, and there's also from milliseconds, there's from minutes, from seconds. These all, well, the ones that take doubles um, have been fixed, okay? So from mic microseconds, from seconds, these have been fixed, so they also have an overload. So yes, you may not be using from seconds, maybe using from microseconds. This has been fixed as well to allow you to pass in integers and it will, make your your uh, time spans more precise. So anything that's from that was t using a double before has an overload now for seconds or for um, integers as well to be more precise, okay? So there you go, there's the improvements in .NET 9 for the time span element.